Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest gas giant in our solar system, has been observed and studied for centuries. Here's an outline of the history of Saturn's exploration and understanding. Saturn has been known since ancient times. It is visible to the naked eye, with ancient astronomers recognizing it as a wandering star. Early records from Babylonian astronomers mention Saturn, and it was also known to ancient Greeks and Romans. The Roman god Saturn, associated with agriculture and time, gave the planet its name. Galileo Galilei was one of the first to observe Saturn with a telescope in 1610. He noted its unique shape but couldn't clearly identify the rings, describing the planet as having ears or handles. In 1659, Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens identified the rings, explaining them as a flat, thin structure surrounding Saturn. His observations led to greater understanding of Saturn's system. In 1675, Giovanni Cassini discovered the Cassini division, the large gap between Saturn's rings, suggesting that the rings weren't a single solid object, but a collection of particles. Throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries, astronomers continued to study Saturn's rings, moons and atmosphere, using increasingly powerful telescopes. The space age brought new insights into Saturn. NASA's Pioneer 11 was the first spacecraft to visit Saturn, conducting a flyby in 1979 and sending back images and data about the planet's rings and moons. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 followed, providing detailed images of Saturn's rings and discovering additional moons. Voyager 1 discovered the intricate structures within the rings and captured stunning images of Saturn's cloud patterns and weather systems. In 1997, NASA launched the Cassini-Huygens mission, a joint venture with the European Space Agency. Cassini orbited Saturn from 2004 to 2017, conducting detailed studies of the rings, moons and atmosphere. The Huygens lander separated from Cassini and landed on Titan in 2005, providing the first images from the surface of Saturn's largest moon. Cassini's mission provided extensive data, leading to discoveries about Saturn's weather patterns, magnetic field, and the composition of its rings. It also revealed intriguing information about Titan's atmosphere and Enceladus's subsurface ocean, raising questions about the possibility of life on these moons. Since Cassini's mission ended in 2017, researchers continue to analyze its data, with ongoing studies and future missions planned to explore Saturn and its moons in greater detail. Saturn is a gas giant with no solid surface like Earth's. Instead, Saturn's surface refers to the point where its atmosphere transitions from gaseous to liquid, known as the cloud tops. Saturn's atmosphere is primarily composed of hydrogen, around 96%, and helium, about 3%, with trace amounts of methane, ammonia, and other compounds. The visible cloud tops consist of multiple layers. At the uppermost layer, clouds are composed of ammonia ice. Deeper into the atmosphere, temperatures and pressures increase, leading to layers of ammonium hydrosulfide and water ice. Saturn's surface appears banded due to its cloud patterns. These bands are caused by different wind speeds and temperatures at varying altitudes. Saturn's bands are more subtle than Jupiter's, displaying softer hues of yellow, brown and grey. Saturn experiences high-speed winds, especially in its equatorial regions, reaching up to 1,800 km per h, 1,100 miles per hour. The planet also has large storm systems, such as the Great White Spot, which periodically emerges and can encircle the entire planet. Saturn has a magnetic field, though less intense than Jupiter's, creating unique auroras at its poles. These auroras can be observed as light displays in the planet's upper atmosphere, triggered by charged particles interacting with the magnetic field. Since Saturn lacks a solid surface, landing on it is impossible as one would descend into increasingly dense gas and liquid layers with crushing pressures and extreme temperatures. This makes Saturn's environment vastly different from terrestrial planets like Earth. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more content like this, then please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.